guys, it's true. Ernie and I just bought our home in the country. We are so excited and I'm so excited to share with you guys. This is our beautiful country home. It sits on one and a half acres and it's out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> we love it. We are so excited to share this with you guys. It's going to be a fantastic journey and we plan on taking you guys with us every step of the way. I know the first question I'm going to get is, are you selling your house you live in now? And the answer to that is no. <laughs> we are the proud owner of two homes. This is going to be our country home, our weekender, and our future retirement home. So um, for now, we're just going to enjoy having two homes and um, we've got lots of fun projects that we're gonna get started on. We wanna take you guys on a tour of the property and a tour of the inside of the house. So let's go ahead and get we started. We sit at the bottom of a hill. We sit on one and a half acres, but there are four lots. So there is a house right here. They also have a little bit over one and a half acres. There's one way over there and there's one right there. And we are on a beautiful country road. When we leave, Ernie and I will take a drive down there and show you guys. But as you can see, the views are phenomenal. And I'll show you the views when we get up to the house so you guys can see. But oh, it's just breathtaking out here. We are so in love. So anyways, our property is from this pink stick here to that pink stick over there, to that one way back there, which you guys, I'll walk back there and show you. There's a pink one back there, and there's one over here. I'm gonna show you guys, I'll walk back to those corners and show you. But this is our driveway, our mailbox, and Ernie wants, first and foremost, to see about getting this um, asphalted. asphalted. Um, it's a, Oh, look at a butterfly. Well, oh. <laughs> he wants to get this asphalted, so eventually, it's not anything that we need, are looking to do right now, but um, it's nice and soft to walk on. I'll definitely be getting my exercise here. What I love about this house is, let me show you the view. So this is the view. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I just love it. It's gorgeous. So the house came with this concrete turnaround off the garage, and then it's the gravel. This is all construction, so they just covered it up with hay, but Ernie's planning on planting grass and reseeding everything. And these are my front gardens. I love this one. I am planning on doing hydrangeas in the back here, and we're not really sure what else, but <laughs> I want to have my hydrangeas back here because as you can see, there's no sun here. Them. They just get all the beautiful daylight, so I think they're going to do so beautifully here. But we want to do some sort of garden here, some sort of a garden like around here as well, and then have an opening, maybe like my um, arch, like a uh, garden arch to walk through to like the grassy area. And I want to do like a gazebo out there somewhere. So those are all future plans for that. And then over on this side, we want to, um, I think, I I'm going to put my vegetable garden over on this side. I haven't really decided yet, but let me show you how far back it goes. So here is the property line right here. So our property is goes to that pole, and then we have all of this. This is our side yard. All the way to that um, pole back there is our property. So I think I wanna do like my vegetable garden over here on this side and not really sure what we're gonna do over here, but I do know that. Let's walk over to this side. The property goes all the way over to, let me stand on the property line right here is the property line on this side. It goes all the way to that pole back there. I'm not sure what we're doing over here, but I will tell you this area here from like this, where this equipment is, these are, this is a driveway for the property at the top of the hill that's for sale behind this house that nobody has purchased yet. Um, so I was telling Ernie that I think we should, um, plant privacy trees along this side of the property because of that. Um, it'll be a driveway, not like a busy road or anything, but still. Also, I think Ernie wants to do a garden shed or like for his riding lawnmower somewhere. He hasn't decided where he's gonna do that. Possibly over in this corner. Might be easy um, for him to do that, but um, let me walk up to this corner here and then I can give you guys a look at the back 
of the house and kind of an idea of how big the property is. The property line goes to that electrical pole, the light one, and then all the way to right there. So it's rather large. This is the back of the house. So cute. <laughs> um, this might be a good place for Ernie's his lawn mower. <laughs> but we have all this to play with and I'm just so excited. So this used to be pasture. So I'm thinking with some good weather this spring, this is all going to fill in with grass. Aaron and Ernie will probably seed it, I'm assuming. Um, some Tree. planters and trees. Italian. I'm really digging the view from the back porch. It's lovely. It's a rather large porch too. But can you imagine sitting here and having coffee in the morning? Oh, it's just beautiful. I love it so much. They gave us a fan. So we have a fan. So they didn't give us a light, but he opted, I opted for four can lights. Oh, you told him you want those? Yeah, instead of that, because they forgot to put the light. Oh, so he's putting them in? Yes. Nice, babe. That was a surprise. Okay, wonderful. Ernie is just amazing. Another thing that we really like is they put in like all these security lights. Um, it's dark out here. <laughs> it's the country, y'all. We have one here and there's over on that corner and then in the front of the house as well. I have a kitchen window, which I'm so excited about. These are the master bedroom windows. Ernie wants to eventually extend the patio from here to the end of the house. Um, or maybe out here. And there's some things that we want to do. Ernie's going to have the whole property fenced in. We'll take you guys along for that process. We're meeting the guy here tomorrow morning for that. And so we're going to have the whole thing fenced in. This to me is <laughs> amazing. I told Ernie to buy that for me up there too. <laughs> you know, because he's got money just coming out of his pockets. Right, babe? Yeah. <laughs> I said it would be so lovely to have an apple orchard up there. So, um, but that tree line, I mean, there's nothing but country back there. There's no, it's just gorgeous. So because we're out here, and when I say we're out here, guys, we have no services, no trash collection or anything like that. We're going to have to be burning our own trash and everything. We have animals, so we're going to have deer. Not a big deal. So that is why I'm trying to figure out where I want to put the garden. Now, my realtor that helped us find this property, he um, is a gardener and he cans. So he's going to help me with my garden and he's going to show me how to can. And I'm so excited. Um, so we were thinking over here would be nice because, I mean, back here would be nice too. But I mean, you can see they're both in full sun right now, so it would be lovely um, over here. But we're going to have to build some sort of fence around it to keep the deer out. Uh, yeah. And then I'm getting chickens. You see Ernie standing at the corner way back there. I'm thinking that's where we're going to have the chicken coop. So... Um, and this is all going to come eventually because we're not going to be living on the property yet. So we can't have animals while, <laughs> you know, we're not here. But we certainly can have our vegetable garden because we can come on the weekends and collect and garden and all that kind of stuff. I can come during the week. We are just so excited um, about this property. I want to take you guys around the front and show you um, the view from sitting on the front porch because that's my favorite place to sit is on the front porch. And. And I don't really get much of a view where I'm at right now because <laughs> um, I live in a neighborhood. But so the view here is truly phenomenal. I cannot wait to line these stairs with um, pumpkins. So for those of you who might be wondering, you have stairs and it's a, um, you know, retirement home. We have a zero entrance in the back, so that's not an issue. But hey, while we're young, we're still going to be climbing stairs. So here's the front porch. Nice and big. My front door. Absolutely love her. I love the window. But look at this view from my living room window. I mean, is that not beautiful? It's just beautiful. I love it. And this is what, where I said I wanted to put hydrangeas in here because I just think, you know, being able to see them, we'll be able to see them from the living room. And I just think that's so wonderful. This is a really good size front porch. One of the things I told you that they did was add this lighting. So there's lighting in the eaves of the house. You can see up there. 
Really nice. It looks really cool at night. We have not been here at night, but some of the houses in our neighborhood now have these, and it looks so pretty. It is a two-car garage, but it is vinyl siding, um, the whole house, and then it has the brick. Ernie wants to see about replacing this, but not anything we're going to do right away. Um, it comes with a gutter system, which is lovely. Where Ernie is at back there is the property line. Um, he wants to gate the entrance as well, so we're going to get a quote for that and see um, you know what that's gonna cost if that's something we can afford to do right now if not no big deal uh, right now we're just gonna do what we can to this beautiful house. I'm so excited to finally get the property that I've always wanted since I'm a little girl. Um, Ernie is so good at making my dreams come true and he definitely hit it on the head with this one. The fact that we are blessed enough to be able to enjoy a second home and have it in the country. We are about an hour away from our current home and um, deep in the country here and it's lovely. So I think right now um, we're gonna go ahead and take you on a ride on some of the country roads around here to show you guys that come back for the next video because we're gonna do the tour of the inside. Thank you. 